to my channel. This is OCD Movie Reviews. My name is Alan Brinkat, and welcome to another movie review. Today I'm going to review a new action horror blockbuster, Shadow in the Cloud. This movie is directed by Rose N. Yang and stars Chloe Grace Moretz and Nick Robinson. Basically this movie is about a World War II female pilot played by Chloe Grace Moretz. She goes on this plane to guard this package while also guarding the gun cockpit on the bottom of the plane until some evil presence has came on that plane. These irregularities started with that package. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you have no idea how far I'll go. How did you get up here? <laughs> Welcome back to the party, baby. Strap in. Yes, ma'am. Now, literally, when I saw the trailers of Shadow in the Cloud, I literally watched the trailer going, this movie's going to suck. This movie looks terrible. It looks like a terrible 80s guilty pleasure movie. And that's where I literally got into this movie for. I just want to see a really fun, bad, guilty pleasure movie. But I gotta say, guys, I walked out of Shadow in the Cloud very confused, actually. It's one of those movies that's very mixed bag. Like, the first half was actually not as bad as I thought it would be. And then the second act of this film was terrible. It was a guilty pleasure terrible movie that I know this film will be. Very complicated how I thought about Shadow in the Cloud because it has two sides of me of what I thought of the film. The first act of this film was actually not as bad as people were saying. I honestly didn't think the first act was that bad. It's literally Chloe Grace Moretz in this gun cockpit thing on the bottom plane. I don't know what that is called. I'm not like a World War II expert. I don't know what... That is, but you see when you see the trailer in the movie, she's in this suspenseful, squeezy, cockpit gun thing <laughs> throughout the first act of this film. And I was literally feeling very intense by it because I like movies that only has one person in it and it took place in a very suspenseful, tight space location. And the first act kind of did that and I did feel suspense through it. And I think Chloe Grace Moretz did a really good job in this film for what she has given. And I think her performance in this film, especially, was actually pretty good in the film. Like, even for the second act, even though the second act was terrible, her performance is still there. And I think she's a good actress. But she's just in really weird movies this year, including this movie and the Tom and Jerry movie that's coming out. I bet you that movie will suck. But yeah, the first act of the film, I was honestly feeling invested. I was enjoying the first act quite a bit. Until the second act comes in. And it just comes up with some of the most random twists and turns that I've seen in the movie. The twists and turns in the movie, without spoiling it, just comes out in the middle of nowhere. And then the rest of the act in the film was literally just an 80s, terrible, guilty pleasure movie with some action scenes that literally don't make any freaking sense. I would say... The coolest thing about this movie though, is the creature designs. It's going for basically the gremlins, you know, gremlins take on World War II planes. It goes through that plot into a horror movie, which I actually kind of like that idea. But I feel like this is the wrong film they did there, because that second act of the movie was just... My god, I did enjoy it because of how bad it was, but it didn't make any sense, and I was literally... I just had to take that seriously. Like, there's a scene where Chloe Grace Moretz slipped off the plane, and then there's another plane on the bottom, and it exploded, and she literally just rises up from that explosion to that plane. And I was literally like, what the hell is happening? And I saw the trailer, and I was literally like, what the heck is happening? It didn't make any sense, and it just turns into an entertaining bad mood for the second act. And that's why I felt so confused about Shadow in the Cloud, because... It's just like, it felt like two different movies in like one movie that literally doesn't fit in. Like, again, the first act, I didn't mind it. I was honestly enjoying the film and then the second act is just like, okay, that really ruined the film for me. Guys, The Shadow in the Cloud is confusing overall as an overall opinion of the film. It was good at parts and it was bad at times. So I would say this movie overall was just pretty hit and miss. It's very mediocre. Um... You can watch this film and just enjoy the guilty pleasure like I did. All I can say this film is terrible. So most people say this film was terrible and I do see why. But there were parts of this film that I honestly felt like it wasn't as bad and then it just turns bad after that. It's very confusing what I thought about this movie. It's definitely a guilty pleasure. That's probably what I'll say about this movie. It's kind of like the bloodshot that came out last year. It was so bad but I did enjoy it for the most part. I'm going to give Shadow in the Cloud a C-. minus. I gave it that rain because the first act I honestly really enjoyed and then throughout the second act, 
it just it just ruined it. It just turned into a really shit guilty pleasure movie that I did enjoy, but it was still a terrible movie. Guys, that is my thoughts on the Shadow of the Cloud or Shadow in the Cloud. Did I say of the cloud in the cloud? I think it's I said of the cloud. So the Shadow in the Cloud. Have you guys seen it? What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below if you like the movie, hate the film, you think it's a guilty pleasure. Just let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Stardust, Instagram, Twitter. Keep contacting with me and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel notified for my latest movie reviews. And have a nice day.